What up, guys? This is Sister Season 6, Episode 19, man. We will be done with this season in a minute, in a flash. I think we got three more episodes left. Don't they end it to 2021 20, episode? I don't know. I don't know how many episodes, but we're getting close to the end of the season. So this is about karma, so they're karma. So, guys, man, that shit was entertaining. It was crazy. What happened? The fact that she, Penelope kept asking them what's going on, what's going on. Of course, Annie don't want to say nothing, but Danny had to do the talking and saying that Annie and Gary been seeing each other like I, I don't know why she broke up a year. I think it was I think it was like a couple months, and Annie did say a little something, but she didn't say much. Then Danny did this. Sabrina say a little something about how Gary was playing them both to each other. I'm surprised they let that out with Jax, when, her, when him and Jasmine was married, and he's, you know, remember he only, you remember Annie only told Sharon, I mean Cameron, not Danny and Sabrina, because they're always in the dark, especially Danny. But now, Danny be speaking that real truth and keep, we can't handle it. And I like that, because even if it wasn't her place to tell, um, Penelope about what happened between Annie and Gary, and we don't know. I want Jordan gonna reach out to Annie next week. We know that, and I guess Annie feel like she thought that Jordan be pissed, and of course Annie says she didn't know. I'm just jumping around that she don't know that Penelope was pregnant. Like she didn't know, so I do believe her about that that she didn't know. Maybe Annie should have said no. I didn't know. I'm just finding out just now when I didn't know that because that's why Annie was shocked because Annie didn't know Gary was seeing someone. But the fact that he knew that she knew that he was married back in season one, she was still messing with him. People kept warning her about what, you know, what type of man he is. Even Javin get her, get her head up that you need to stay away from this man. He's controlling. He's manipulator. He's the, um, Abuser and also, should I say, um, pretty much that he like to control you and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, that's what Jordan was trying to um fight Gary, and of course, I think Richard was in them was holding him back and telling them that that um they need to get out, that Gary need to get out. He but he was trying to tell Penelope. Penelope they had nothing to say to him. She just wanted his ass out. And of course, Jordan was pissed. And they asked, like I know I did say that. He, they did ask Andy. Of course, Andy said he she did not know. Of course, Danny said what she had to say. Sabrina said what she had to say. I'm just surprised they didn't leave with Andy until now. Because she decided to leave. Because she didn't want to be in the house. She feel like Jordan is pissed. I know she mad herself right now. And I say, yeah, maybe she should. Because... This is your karma right now. You, I'm hoping she learned a lesson not to mess with somebody that control you and stuff. And shit, same thing with Maurice. Maurice should have been let Q around because he said he's not making that stay again. I said, let's hope not because you should have listened to every, your friend trying to tell you that he ain't no good. So he did meet this guy. And look like they might see each other again. We don't know. We didn't see Calvin because he was got lost in the. I guess Maurice lost him in the clouds and stuff. Cause they he came to have a good time. It was a gay bar. Everybody was having fun, and you know it was interesting to watch. You know they got each other numbers, and he told Maurice, "I'll call you." He said, "Maybe," because Maurice is trying to play hard to get. You know how he is. You know what I'm saying it is what it is. So, back then, when we see Fatima and Zach, because Zach couldn't stop, couldn't remember what happened about how, because he said it'd been five minutes, I think that's all he remember. Now, it's just like, just confusing, because I say, you got, I say, 20 dollars again in the club, is that how, is that's how it works? I thought it would be special than that, but I guess not. Um... Yeah, he just like, he feel like Fatima was just him, but that's not the case. She's still trying to figure out, understand what's going on. So that's all I'm saying from there. And yeah, 
Zach still can't stop thinking about Michael. He want to make sure his son is safe. And Fatima's going to be there to be there for him and stuff. And of course, they went to sleep. And that and that's when we see Annie and Sabrina in the car talking. But Annie was just looking at looking looking guilty. She looked guilty. She was this is her karma beating her right now. That's why she said she sat there and looked guilty. As she should be guilty because this is what people have been warning her about. To leave this man alone and you were playing games with him. So now she realized that she beating herself up. Feeling bad. And the funny thing is, you could I could have sworn you only like him. You just stay with him because it was only set. So that that part is confusing. But season seven would be better because I feel like it's not gonna it's gonna be different. So I think Annie and Jordan are still gonna hang out. I didn't I don't think Gary and Annie should get back together. I hope it stay that way. Because we know he's gonna she's gonna be with Jordan. I think Jordan's running for governor or whatever he's doing. And hopefully Camille be okay because you don't need Gary and I hope you bet off without him. And I'm sure she learned everything about this slime ball did to you. And it just sucks because they didn't bring out Jasmine how he was married to her when he was with Met Penelope. And then got with Andy. So yeah, that was that. And that's when they went to Karen's house and they told Karen what's going on. And you know what I'm saying? And he says she this is her karma. I say, yeah, it's your karma, but it is harsh, but you know, you should have just stopped playing games. This is exactly what happened when you play games with people. And you don't have no respect for yourself. Not no season seven, she will learn that she cannot be doing that to stuff like that. And I just wish Danny and Sabrina and they need they should have got I thought it was gonna be tough rough for them, but that was that wasn't the case. They all they doing sugar and calling it. They're gonna always do that. Um, and then after that, they you know carry the oil pizza. She says she's thinking about. She says she's gonna continue to focus on herself right now. We know that Ryan's gonna show up next week and talk to her about the pay. I hope he called her before he came over because he looked at a match. I say, dude, you is crazy. Do look at like it's like you're a stalker. So I'm hoping he don't be like Aaron. That's why Jeremy used him, used Ryan like Am. Oh, we don't need another Am. We do not need him. And if you say you married, you know you don't acting like you married. But I should say that last week when he went to our house. But we know he's gonna be over there next week talking to Karen. And then we know we see Gary going to Hayden's house, trying to ruin his relationship. Even he is in the relationship, but he is getting played at the same time. And trying to, you know, judge him and stuff. I say, dude, you just mad because you got exposed. You know what I'm saying? You did. You got exposed. And you should definitely take that punishment. You see, Annie's taking that punishment. She admit that she messed up. And maybe Gary did admit, but it wasn't enough. And I don't think his friends want nothing to do with no more. And I don't blame them. And Hayden told him to leave because he got some... He got a woman waiting out there for him. And that's what happened. And we know he's going to show up again next episode. Want to give him that envelope and try to do a research. Just want him to be pitiful. Just like Hayden. Try to make Hayden feel pitiful. So it is what it is. And then we got a phone call. For T you know, this woman, I forgot her name. She called for Tima saying, y'all need to get down there quick. And that was, um, that's where Fatima woke up Zach. And they went down there. Next episode, we're going to see them talking. And she said, if she call me out my name one more time, I'm going to hurt. Uh, whatever she said, you know, it was like a little threat towards Haley Jenny. Yeah, that can't be her mom. But I don't know. But we'll see. But, guys, I think that's all I got to say. If I left something out, I'm sure y'all let me know. Make sure y'all share this video, subscribe, and peace out.